So um, there have been questions about how do you know uh, what to do to store your finished soft pastel paintings? Because they're fragile and you can easily take off some of the pigment just by touching it which may or may not damage the painting, but there's definitely the potential of smudging if you just like rub a, a soft pastel painting. Even if you have a final fixative on it, uh, you'll still see, um, a lot of times you'll still see that if you touch it, then you have pigment that comes off on your hands. So, um, so it seems like it's a problem but it's not really a problem. You just need to know how to store it until you're ready to frame it. Um, in order to uh, show your, your, your painting, you do need to frame it. It does need to be under glass, uh, just so you know. Whether you fixed it or not, uh, fixatives, there are a few good brands, but still, they are very finicky and you can easily ruin a painting unless you do it just right, and then even even then you could ruin your painting with a fixed tip. So um, I've, I have a love-hate relationship with them, and I've gotten to where I just really don't use them anymore. Not a final fixed tip anyway. Um, okay, so anyway, I have this painting that is, uh, it's just a piece of paper. It's a sanded paper. It's UART paper, in case you're wondering. And it's a finished painting. And I would like to frame this one. I think that this one turned out pretty well. I'm not ready to frame it yet. Uh, so I am either going to store it in one of my flat file drawers, or I'm going to store it into a clear bag. But um, if I store it into a clear bag, then I want to cut a foam board, like one of these. It's just a, you know, it's a foam board. It's acid free. And I want to cut a piece that's at least as large as my finished painting. And then I'll put it into a clear bag. Um, I don't have to do this. I could just store it into a jar, a drawer, not a jar, <laughs> a drawer, and and just put some glassing paper on top of it. Glassing paper uh, is kind of like a wax paper, but it's acid free, and that will keep it. Uh, it'll keep it from damp being damaged if something else, if you lay something else on top of it. So in my flat files, I might have like, I don't know, several different paintings that I'm storing in my flat file. It's a drawer that's just kind of flat. And I just want to put glassing paper on top of it just to keep it, you know, kind of like a wax paper, just to keep other paintings from messing it up. But in the case that I want to put it in a clear bag, which is a lot of times I like to do that because I sell a lot of my paintings or I, you know, I give them to people and it's easy to ship them if I have it in a clear bag. But I like to put a piece of foam board behind it so that it doesn't bend because if you're going to mail a painting to somebody and you do your best by putting do not bend all over the package. If you're going through the, well, I hate to bash them, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, if you're going through the US Post Office, they will fold that envelope up and stuff it into a mailbox uh, if, if it's convenient for them. But if you have something stiff, like this foam board, in the in the envelope they won't be able to fold it and so they won't do it <laughs> so i feel like i feel like you need to have like a piece of something that's hard that is not going to bend in that um 
in that envelope. So, okay, so what I wanna do, I've got my cutting board here. And I've got my, my pastel painting. And I have my X-Acto knife and a metal ruler. Um, let's see, let me get some glassing paper. Okay, so I have some glassing paper and you can see it looks like wax paper, but it's acid free. And I'm just going to gently lay this on top here, just so I don't mess up my painting. And I'm going to cut my, my foam board. All right. So I just take my time and see my painting is fine. And so I've got my, my painting and it's ready to go into a clear bag. So before I put my painting into a clear bag, I like to uh, put the title of the painting and the date that I completed the painting or the month and the year and, uh, and sign my name on it. And I like to stick that to the back of my painting. If my painting is already mounted, like it's attached to my foam board, then I'll put the sticker on the back of the foam board. In this case, um, I have not attached my foam board. I'm just using it like as uh, something stiff to put behind my painting so it doesn't get bent. And I wanna keep it in a clear bag. So the title of my painting is, um, I'm gonna call it Full Bloom. And I finished this in September of 2022. So uh, this is just has a, a peel off adhesive. It's from like a, a mailing label. Uh, I don't want to get my cutting board all messed up, so I'm gonna put my glassing paper like this. And all right. Okay, so it's ready to go into my clear bag. Okay, so here's my clear bag and it has a little opening here and you just peel this sticker away and then you can fold this flap over and it sticks. But I want that to be in the back. So I'm gonna flip that over and Sometimes this can be a little tricky depending, but I think this will be fine because my bag is, is plenty large enough. If you've got like a smaller bag, then it can be kind of tricky trying to get the painting into the clear bag without dust going everywhere. So, all right, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna take off my strip and make sure I've got as much air out of there as possible. And there we have it. So I've got my painting in a clear bag. I do like to fold this back just to try to make it, let me get my tape, try to make it as, tight in the bag as possible. So I'm gonna fold this flap over and just put a little piece of tape 
down and then and then you have it um, it's nice because you know you could uh, you could mail these to as a gift or if somebody wants to buy your painting um, or you can have this at an art fair or in a gallery um, of course you'd have it labeled with a price and everything but um, but what's nice is people can thumb through these and they're not going to mess up your painting and if you've got it like folded over like I do in the back in the case where it's a little bit larger than the painting it's nice because it's not going to be moving around and odds are it's not going to you know the dust is not going to be moving around on your painting so it makes it nice anyway I hope that this is helpful I'm going to uh, make some more tutorials just to go over the uh, various what ifs, what do you want to do. So anyway, I hope you have a good evening and it was fun chatting and um, happy new year. It's 2023 now. Bye-bye.